Alright folks, welcome to this episode. In today's video, we're here about it's not even half a mile out of Edsel, that's Edsel behind me, the little Scottish village. And today we've come to look at the old ROC bunker, which is the old Cold War bunker. The reason I've come to it is because the field's stubble just now. If there was crops in here, I wouldn't have come in here, look, because you didn't want to damage crops to come and see things like this. This is quite a cool one. I think it was a master post. And this is it here, look at this folks. It's good to see that it's sealed, so that means that it's getting looked after. Nothing inside it will be getting damaged. Look at this, this is in really good condition folks. It's so cool. I think because it was one of the last ones to get shut down as well in 1991, this will have like the most up to date hatch. Because they don't all have this big cement bit here. And another thing here that the master post has got that the other ones didn't have was this here. This circular piece here is where the mast was like mounted on. It's pretty cool. The farm, I think it belongs to the farm which is over behind me here. Because I think at the end of the Cold War all that stuff was returned back to the original landowners. Look at this folks. It's almost like they're still actually using power and stuff down there which is quite cool. Look at that. I think this could be potentially some of the brackets for the the aerial. So here's where they bolted on one of the things. I think that was for the bomb power indicator which was like a pressure gauge which read the barometric pressure of the air at the moment of the um, explosion. And then there was another thing called a fixed survey meter as well. I think that was the thing that uh, told you the direction of the the blast and also the height. And I'm sure that was maybe the thing that went on here. And the person would pop out the hatch, unbolt the thing from here, I think change the bit of paper in it and then bolt it back down. So there we go folks. The Ed's Alaro Sea Bunker. I always enjoy coming to here and walk around these. Just to check the condition. And I had never been at this one. I've driven past on this little road so many times and I've noticed the bunker, but like I say, you can't just be coming into fields when there's crops and stuff. So obviously it's private land and we show respect to that here on this channel, folks. So that's it. The Edsel ROC bunker. So I was just taking some thumbnail images there for the thumbnail of this video and I noticed this must be potentially where the mast was mounted on this one. The guy ropes for the mast, which I think was mounted on the side of there. There's actual little cement bits on the ground here. Every every one of these ROC bunkers didn't have this. Look at that. So there's one there, one there, and potentially the third rope may have been over here somewhere. Here it is folks. Look at this. So that shows that the mast was on that circular thing on the side of there. The mast was on the side of that. And the three guy ropes would have been going to it. And every day People would have been making their way along here to look after this post to protect the country and the threat of nuclear warfare. But it's good to see that this one's locked like that. It's got double padlocks on it. Triple padlocks, folks. It's good to see that it's got triple padlocks, because that saves it getting damaged. Like there's some that I go to now and again, and literally like they're just ruined. The Theron one in particular is just totally ruined. 
so there we go folks just half a mile out of Edsel it's easy to see if there's crops in the field I wouldn't bother coming over at least you can see it on this video if you can't get to it just explore history folks that's another one ticked off the list right folks I'll end the video here thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode very soon